Good afternoon, parents, guardians, and long distance learners. Thank you for allowing me in your homes one more time with the latest that we have in news that you can use. We want to start by um, congratulating uh, Ms. Del Santo, Ms. Ms. Longway, and um, Ms. Timothy Marin for helping us put together a uh, tremendous, successful all day audible with authors. So our students in grades five through eight were able to dialogue today with authors from across all of the United States and Europe. And we also had our own for the very first time, Young Authors of America, uh, grade eight students. To all of you, a great thank you for a successful day. I also would like to thank the Portsmouth School Committee members that participated uh, on the project today. And Mr. James McGaugh, once again, thank you for being here and uh, being able to put together a press release uh, for our for our school. So thank all of you. We are also finishing up today our wellness week with Heron uh, as Purple Day. Throughout the week, we had a few events and some prizes were given out to students for participating on the events. I would like to call the attention to all parents and guardians and students, especially grades five and six students for this announcement, that at South Kingston Wellness will be starting with Portsmouth Middle School on March 24th. They will be offering a six weeks mindfulness program to grades five and six. And this is how it's going to be run. It's going to be run during their recess time. So those students that do not want to participate in recess and do want to be in the mindfulness class, they will be supervised by a teacher in the gymnasium where they will have a live feed with Salt Kingston Wellness. Uh, we are very excited about this. We know that we had in the past fifth grade uh, students and sixth grade students participate and we are looking for great turnout once again. Uh, the other notice that we have for um, parents is that there was an email sent home today in regards to, to state testing and the state testing for those students that are distance learning students will take place on April 12th for ELA grades five through eight May 10th uh, for grades five through eight in math. And we then have our science testing will take place May 24th. When the students come to PMS to take these exams, they will be in a separate location uh, from the remainder of the school and we will be able to serve them uh, lunch and snacks. So we are hoping that you look at your emails and please respond to us as to will you be or not be attending. Our Views Matter is uh, basically a survey works parent uh, survey that it's being administered by the Rhode Island Department of uh, Education. It only takes a few minutes to complete it and that helps our school leadership and our parent teacher organization make improvements to our school. So please uh, go to the link to the survey and, uh, and that was included with an email that did go home and take a few minutes and give us some feedback. Keep on checking that Feinstein Golden Ticket, one of our neighboring schools this week got $5,000 and the student got $500. So we are looking to see if we are the lucky winner on the very next set of tickets. So keep checking because you just might be the recipient of a $500 grant and you, our, your school, our school, will be the receiver or the recipient of a $5,000 grant. March into reading program has begun. I do have to say that I am extremely, extremely excited and delighted that so many students are involved in March into reading. This morning, I called down to my office all the fifth grade students that had, for the very first week, finished the book. 
and the number of them was so many that I had to move them into the gymnasium. We had 41 students that within the very first week had read a book. We are congratulating them. We know that the, the learning center that reads the most will have a pizza party or an ice cream party. But meanwhile, we will have this coming Monday for grade five and sub subsequently to other grades, we, were, we will pass out ice cream uh, to the students. They had read one full book this past week. So we are excited about that also. Uh, as you keep on reading the books, the, they will be tallied on the door of your classroom. And again, as I said, the ones that had the learning set that read the most will have a party. And then the student that read the most will have a Beats headset, wireless. So as a great prize from Mr. Arruda. Keep on looking on getting that AAA's uh, awards, which is awesome Arruda award. It's that one award that will get you the ice cream on Mondays also. So keep on looking into that. Do your good deeds and do your reading. This coming Monday, we have grade seven in-person learning. The PTO will have a Zoom meeting from 6 to 7 p.m. Look into your email to get the, the Zoom link. Uh, there will be nothing taking place on Tuesday, March 9th after school, but on, on Wednesday we have math counts that will meet virtually at 4 p.m. And uh, we will have Beyond Books Club meets from 3.45 to 4.45. Ms. Medeiros will do the math counts and Ms. Waugh and Ms. Clancy will do Beyond Books Club from uh, 3.45 to 4.45 on Wednesday. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you and wish all of you a great weekend. We will see you right back here on Monday. Thank you again.